And for today's 10,000 Reasons flashback, we visit program number 5,564, which aired October 13th, 1998. Our guest was James McDonald, the First Nations man from Ontario's far north, from a remote village called Moose Factory, located on an island in James Bay. It was uh, very hard for me to choose a short segment from his powerful story, but watch this. And uh, I came home from a drunken binge and, uh, and, and your television program was on. We had uh, the CBC channel only at the time and well, another one was TV on Terry, but the CBC channel was the only active one at the time. And I went home and I sat on the coach and I looked at my at the television, uh, uh, television set it was a, this was a late in the evening. It must have been one or two. I don't know. And uh, I was I think I was bleeding, and I had a shotgun under my bed at the time, and uh, and uh, I used to do a little hunting now and then. But my hunting was a lot of drinking in my hunting also. And uh, anyways, I I was looking, and then you came on, and I seen that uh, the number at the at the bottom of the screen. I said I'm gonna phone this man. I said I was still angry, hurt. You know, and uh, just didn't know how to express my feelings because I didn't want to tell people that I, that I wanted to kill myself. I didn't want to tell people that I was a hurting young man. I didn't want to, uh, that, that wasn't a man's way of talking. God came in my life and that's what I was looking for all my life. And the power of God just hit me. I got up from my knees maybe about, I don't know, I fell asleep for 14 hours. I, I was right out and it was just God gave me a peaceful sleep. I knew I was a changed man. And it was only from the power from on high that did that, David. There was no other power in this world that can change a human being like the power of God. And I hang on to this Bible so dearly because it changed me. I was looking for something in all my life and I found it and I don't want to let it go. And this is what I want to encourage the young people at home. Sitting at home, I want to encourage them, you can do it. And I always wanted a second chance. I always wanted to live my life all over. And praise the name of the Lord, you can live your life all over again. It doesn't matter how old you are. Christ can change you right on the spot. And that's the power of the gospel. That's the power of the gospel. Wow, what a powerful testimony. That was one of the more memorable ones for sure. And today, Reverend James McDonald, Reverend James McDonald, continues to share the power of the gospel to many in the Moose Factory and Moosonee area. We're so thankful that 100 Huntley Street is still watched in much of the remote far north of Canada. And we continue to receive many calls on our prayer lines from our precious First Peoples. Well, that's just a quick flashback as we look forward to program 10,000.